Hi everyone, I'm Debbie from Leilin Yoga and today's stay home session is all about balance, both physical and mental. The class comprises dynamic and stationary postures to help mobilise and strengthen the body. You can choose to be standing, seated in a chair or lying down. Have something like yoga blocks and a strap handy. I'm actually using my shawl because I prefer something a little softer than a strap. And also have anything else that you need to support a seated or lying down position, especially at the end when we do the relaxation. If you're standing, consider setting yourself up near a wall or a steady surface like a table or a sturdy chair. You might even like to do both, have the wall and a steady surface nearby. If lying down, consider placing your feet on the wall or the bed head. So choose your position, gather your equipment and let's begin. Sit in a chair or stand with your feet a comfortable distance apart. Hands gently resting on your thighs or in your lap if you're seated or by your sides if you're standing. If you're lying down, have the legs straight or the knees bent, whatever feels most comfortable for you and let the hands rest gently by your sides. Take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Have a sense of letting go at all levels, the body releasing, setting aside what's happened before, setting aside any plans and worries. Do that a couple more times. Deep breath in through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Before returning to your natural breathing. Reflect on how you feel right in this moment, physically, mentally, emotionally. Prepare now to move. Shake the tree. If you're lying down, bend the knees and place the feet flat on the floor. Whichever position you're in, start to shake your wrists. Let them go floppy. Move into the elbows and up into the shoulders. Start to raise the heels off the ground and lower them and continue moving up and down. Feel those vibrations coming through the whole body. If you're seated or standing, you might like to gently twist the body from side to side. If you're lying down, see how it feels if you rock your head a little from side to side. Slow the movement down. 
come back to your starting position, seated, standing or lying down. And notice how the body feels. Knee raises. Stand, sit or lie with your feet about hip width apart. If you're lying down with your legs extended, lengthen through the back of your legs. Imagine you're standing with the feet flat on the floor. They could already be against the wall or bedhead. Bring your hands by your sides with the palms face down. If you're sitting in a chair, move towards the front of your seat and ensure that your feet are flat on the ground or supported. If you're standing, have the wall or your steady surface to the side. Whichever position you're in, Feel that the spine is long. Imagine zipping up tight jeans and have a sense of drawing up through the pelvic floor, engaging those lower abdominals and bracing the back. Inhale. Keep the spine long and the back braced and bring the right knee towards your chest. Exhale. Lower the right foot back to the floor. Inhale. Bring the left knee towards your chest. Exhale. Lower the left foot. Continue moving with the breath, alternating from side to side. Inhale, raising a knee Exhaling, lowering the foot. Moving into puppet. Continue raising the knee. If you would like to explore a different option, when you next come to your right side, Imagine there's a thread that connects your right wrist to your right knee. And on the inhalation, raise both the right arm and the right knee. Exhale, lower the arm and place the foot back on the floor. Inhale, raise your left arm and bring the left knee towards your chest. Exhale, lower the left arm and foot. Continue to alternate, moving with the breath. Another option. Imagine that thread connects your wrist to the opposite knee. So when you next come to your first side, you inhale, raise one arm and bring the opposite knee to the chest. Exhale, lower the arm and foot. Continue to move, alternating from side to side. Complete the round you're on. And then come back to your comfortable position, standing, sitting in a chair, or lying down. Flowing tree. Come into a position 
so that you can watch me demonstrate the flowing tree. So stand, sit in a chair, or lie with the feet about hip width apart, arms resting gently by your sides. Have something like a block handy in case you want to use it. If you're standing, consider standing with a wall behind you or a steady surface to your side. Take your arms out to the side, bring the hands together in front of your body or above your head. At the same time, bend the right knee and turn it out to the side. Notice how this feels. If you feel stable here, consider bringing the foot closer to your left leg. Maybe placing the sole of the foot on your left leg or raising it higher, maybe bringing the toes onto a block. Feel that you're active through that left leg, pushing into the ground or wall, or pushing through the heel. Lower the hands in front of the body. Turn the fingers away from your body, straighten your arms, and then open them to the side. Come back to your starting position, hands by the side and feet hip width apart. Move to the other side. If you'd like to synchronize your movements with the breath, inhale, take your hands out to the side and bring them together. Turn the left knee out and place that left foot wherever you wish, whether it's close to the left leg or on a block. Exhale, lower the hands in front of your chest. Inhale, turn the fingers away from your body, straightening the arms and then opening them to the sides. Exhale, come back to your starting position. Continue the movements, alternating from side to side. When you next bring your hands together, hold the position. Keep the arms high or lower them to the chest. If you have your hands high, lower them to the chest. On an inhalation, turn the fingers away from your body and open the arms. Exhale, come back to your starting position. 
move to the other side. When your hands come together, choose whether you want to keep them high or lower them and then hold the position. If you have your hands high, lower them to your the chest. On an inhalation, turn the fingers away from your body and open the arms. Exhale. Come back to your starting position. And give those legs a bit of a shake. Before you come back to your comfortable position, standing, sitting in a chair or lying down. dancer. Have your strap and blocks within reach. Personally, I like to use something a little softer than a strap, like a rolled up towel. If you're lying down, roll onto your left side or onto your abdomen. If you lie on your side and are near a wall or bedhead, Place your left foot on the wall or bed head. Support your head with your arm or a cushion. If you're seated, come towards the front of the chair and place your feet on the floor about hip width apart. If you're standing, stand with the wall or a steady surface to your side. In the dancer posture, there are options to hold onto your foot and raise the opposite arm. If you wish to hold onto your foot, then you might like to have your steady surface on the left. If you plan to raise your arm, then you might like to have the steady surface to your right or stand facing a wall about an arm's distance away. Create length in your spine. Imagine that you're drawing the tailbone and the crown away from each other. If your left foot is against a surface, feel the weight coming into that foot. Bend the right knee and bring the foot towards your buttock. If you're seated, slowly inch the right foot back under the chair to a point where you feel comfortable. If you're standing or seated, you might like to try placing your right foot on a higher surface, like a block, or if standing, be a chair. Reach your right hand back towards your foot. You might like to hold on to your foot with your hand or strap. Feeling stable? Maybe extend your left arm up in front. If you're lying down, extend your left arm along the floor in front or above your head. Feel like a little more? Slowly tilt forward from the hips. Maybe you gaze towards your outstretched hand. For more sensation, if you're holding onto your foot, press your foot into your hand, arching your back. If you're lying on your abdomen, push your left arm into the ground and use your back muscles to raise your head and maybe the chest. Hold this position. At any time, feel free to come out of the position. Slowly straighten up, lower the left hand, release the right foot and come back to your comfortable position, standing, sitting in a chair or lying down. 
notice how the right side of your body feels compared with the left. If you're lying down, come onto your right side or onto your abdomen. If you're standing, stand with your steady surface to your side or facing the wall. Whichever position you're in, lengthen the spine and bring the weight into your right foot. Bend the left knee and bring the foot towards your buttocks. If you're seated, slowly take the left foot back under the chair to that point where you feel comfortable. If you're seated or standing, you might like to place your left foot on a block or a chair. Reach your left hand back towards your foot. Holding onto your foot with your hand or a strap if you wish. To stay here, or if you feel stable, you might like to extend the right hand up in front or along the floor. Maybe gaze towards your outstretched hand. Maybe tilt forward. Maybe if you're holding onto your foot, press your foot into the hand or the strap. And if lying down, push your right arm into the ground and you raise your head and maybe the chest. Hold this position for as long as you wish. Slowly straighten up, lower the right hand, release the left foot back and come into a comfortable position, standing, sitting in a chair or lying down. Alternate nostril breathing. Come into a comfortable position either seated or lying down. Ensure that it is a position where you can breathe freely. This pranayama or breathing practice can be practiced by focusing on the nostrils or using a mudra to physically open and close the nostrils. If you would like to use a mudra, place the ring finger on the outside of one nostril and the thumb on the other. The index and middle fingers can be placed between the eyebrows or folded down. And then by pressing on the sides of the nostrils, you can open and close the nostrils. Start with your hands beside you or resting on your thighs or in your lap. Settle into your position and become aware of your breath. Feel the breath moving up and down the nostrils. Can you feel the breath in both nostrils? Or does the breath feel like it's flowing more in one nostril than the other? If you would like to use the mudra, then place your fingers on either side of the nostrils. Take your attention to the right nostril. Imagine the breath is moving up and down the right nostril. Just give heightened awareness to that right nostril. 
if you're using the mudra, gently close the left nostril. Now move the attention to the left nostril. If you're using the mudra, close the right nostril and open the left. Imagine the breath moving up and down the left nostril. Give heightened awareness to that left nostril. On your next inhalation, breathe in through your left nostril. Pause, then breathe out the right. Breathe in through the right nostril, then breathe out the left. Continue with that pattern. Breathing in through one nostril and then out the other. Then breathing in through that second nostril and out the first. Make this your last round. The round ends when you breathe out the left nostril. And come back into your comfortable seated or lying down position. Notice the sensations in the body. The effects of the practice on your body mind and emotions. Feel free to remain here as long as you wish. Otherwise Gently start to move the body, releasing your position. And bring your hands into a gesture of gratitude. Give thanks to yourself and those around you. Om Shanti. Go in peace. Thank you.